Hey, what is going on everyone? This is Jerry Views back with another video and today I will show you guys 20 tips and tricks that can be found on iOS 13 that are very very useful and hopefully will make your life easier and will give you a better experience using your device on iOS 13. So here are 20 tips and tricks that you should know on iOS 13. Starting off with the first one, now we all know that trick that allows you to basically move the cursor anywhere you want simply by tapping and holding on the keyboard of your iPhone. But what if you want to start selecting text? Well, that's very, very easy. So here you can see I'm moving the cursor and now I want to select that text. All I gotta do is just tap right there and you can see I can now start selecting the text as easy as that so this is a trick that you can do on your device on ios 13 maybe on ios 12 as well i haven't tested this but as you can see right there simply move the cursor and then just tap on the trackpad there with the other finger and you will be able to start selecting the text as easy as that now this other trick has to do with the keyboard as well and this one is pretty useful as well so you're moving the cursor with your finger you can still use the keyboard right here so you can see i i want to just move that text to the next row i can move the cursor like this and i can tap the return button you can see you can basically type anything you want there so you can see i can go ahead and add those to the next row just like that i can basically delete anything i want simply by moving the cursor i can move it there i can delete that as easy as that so just move the cursor with one hand and with the other hand you will be able to basically edit the text you can of course also add other stuff as well on the files app on ios 13 apple has added a ton of new features and one of them is just showing you the info regarding a file so on any file that you have on your files app you can 3d touch and if you scroll here we'll find a button that says info if you tap right there it will show you all the information regarding that file so you can see right here i have this picture and it will show me the date created the date last open where it is saved on the icloud drive you can see the dimensions right there with the resolution everything regarding that file will be right there so just 3d touch and tap the info button a really cool feature on the files app on ios 13 are the tags i see a lot of people don't use tags on the files app but they're very very useful so 3d touch on one of your files and then you will find here tags if you tap on tags you will be able to add a new tag right there so let's just add test here and just choose a color click done and now you're good to go now whenever you want to find those files all you gotta do here just from the search bar from anywhere on the files app i can just search for test and you can see the tag right there i can tap on the tag and it will show me the results which will include all the files that have that tag on the reminders app on ios 13 apple has made a ton of changes now you can see here the reminders app of course has been totally redesigned and you will have your lists of reminders now if you go to all right here it will show you your lists and then it will show you the reminders that you have on each list now if you want to move a reminder from one list to another all you gotta do is just force touch on it and then just drag it down like this and you can release it here and that way you can remove any reminder that you want from one list to another when creating a new reminder on the reminders app on ios 13 you will have this very useful toolbar right here that allows you to add the time and the location very quickly so just tap right there and you will be able to add today tomorrow next weekend or a custom time right there as easy as that or you can go ahead and add the location just tap right there and you can add like a custom location here so you have getting car getting out of the car or you can add your current location or any address that you want you probably have noticed on iOS 13 when you open an app, it will show you a pop-up that asks you if you allow that app to use the Bluetooth. That is a new thing on iOS 13, so you will see that pop-up once you install iOS 13 and you start opening apps, you will see that. But what if you want to check which apps you have allowed to use Bluetooth, which not, and you want to edit them 
or anything like that. So just go to settings, go to privacy, and then here we'll find Bluetooth. If you go right here, you will find the apps that use Bluetooth and you will see if you have allowed it or not. So you can basically change those settings from here. You can turn it off for any app that you have allowed previously or turn it on for any app that you didn't allow. On iOS 13 now you will have the ability to customize the profile pictures of your contacts. So just go to one of your contacts, tap on the edit button and tap on the edit right there on the picture. And then you can also add any of the Animoji stickers or you can create an Animoji for that contact or you can tap edit once again right there and you will be able to tap edit here and then just tap choose and you will be able to add any of the filters that you want to the profile picture of that contact. On iOS 13, when taking a screenshot of your device, you wanna basically send this screenshot to someone or you wanna share something, but you wanna hide a part of the screenshot. Most of the people will basically just pick any of these and will try to hide anything right there like this, but there's a smarter way on doing that. Just tap the plus button and tap right there and you will be able to add these squares or a circle or anything so i just want to hide those tap right there and tap the first one so it will cover anything and just like that you can create a screenshot and of course basically hide anything you want and here's another feature of ios 13 you can see once i'm done now i will have the chance to save this not on the camera roll of my device but i will be able to save it to the files app as well so just tap right there and then it allows you to choose the location where you want to save that screenshot so just tap right there click save and you're good to go so now on ios 13 you will be able to save screenshots on the files app as well on iOS 13, you probably know that Apple has added a ton of useful gestures and there are some very, very useful ones when it comes to selecting text. So here on a text, I want to select that word right there. All I got to do is just double tap on that word and as easy as that, I will be able to select it. What if I want to select this sentence right here? Triple tap there and it will select the complete sentence as easy as that. You can also easily select any text simply by dragging your finger. All you gotta do is just tap on the place where you want to start and just hold your finger right there. You will hear an, an haptic feedback and then you can start like selecting any text as easy as that. So just like this, you can select any text that you want on iOS 13. You probably know that on iOS 13, Apple has added a ton of new features when it comes to editing pictures and videos as well. And something I really, really like is that now you will have the ability to flip pictures within the Photos app. So just go to the edit mode on any picture and then you can just tap right there, that little square. And at the top right there, you will find those two little arrows. Just tap right there and you can flip any picture as easy as that. On iOS 13, Apple has added now Animoji stickers. So we had Animojis and now you will have Animoji stickers. Now, of course, you can use like stickers from your own Animoji or any of these that are within iOS and you can use them to reply to iMessages. So here, what I can do is just tap on one of them, hold it, and then I can drag it right there and I can basically go ahead and react to any message with an Animoji sticker. So you can see just like that, you can make it bigger or smaller and then you can also rotate it like this and just basically release it on the message right there where you want to react to that message and as easy as that you will add that reaction. There are a ton of new features on the mail app as well and one of them is very very useful. It allows you to mute different threads so all you have to do is just tap on the replay button and then just scroll down here and you will find mute just tap right there and as easy as that you will be able to mute any mail thread and you will see right there at the top that bell with like a line that indicates that that thread has been muted another cool new feature on ios 13 on the mail app is the ability to change the color of the flags so you flag an email 
and you will have basically a default color on iOS. But now with iOS 13, you will see I have orange on this flag. And if I just tap on the replay button, I can go ahead and change the color of that flag. And that will be very, very useful. If you wanna like classify different emails based on different colors, then you can do this. Once you flag an email, just open it, tap the reply button, and you will be able to change its color. On the notes app on iOS 13, when you start a new note, it will start with a title. So you start typing something and it will start with those big bold letters right there. So that's a title and you will have to basically select that and then go here and just go ahead and switch that to body. So if you want to make like a normal note, you will have to do that. But there is an easier way to do that. Just go ahead, go to the settings app, go to the notes section, and then here we'll find new note notes start with, and just go ahead and choose body and you're good to go. Now new notes will start like normal, like this with the body, not with the title. On the Safari app on iOS 13, if you're trying to open a website like here, I can try to open Apple, you will see that once I have that website opened on another tab, so if you have like a ton of tabs open in the background and you're trying to open the same website on another one, it will show you right here this indication. So it says switch to tab, so you can just tap right there and it will switch to that tab where you have that website already open. On iOS 13, if you go to settings and you go to the Safari section, right here at the bottom, you will find the settings for websites. So right here, you can choose the zoom, the default zoom for any website that you will open within Safari. So you can set the zoom right here. Then lower here, we'll have request desktop site. And if you go right here, you will have a list of the websites where you have requested the desktop site. Now you can leave this on and every time you open that website, it will open on the desktop version. So you can see right there, you can enable or disable that. If you leave that enable every time, that website will be opened on the desktop site. On iOS 13, Apple has added slide to type and that's really, really cool. A very neat feature to have on iOS. But there is a very, very cool feature that Apple has also added with that, and it's called delete slide to type by word. So basically, if you slide a word incorrectly and you want to delete it, it will basically delete the complete word, not just letter by letter. So if the keyboard gets it all wrong, you don't have to delete letter by letter. You can do that all with just one tap. So just tap right there, and it will delete the complete word. Just make sure you have the setting enabled here. So that's it for this video, guys. These are 20 very useful tips and tricks for your iOS 13 device. I hope these tricks and tips will help you have a better experience and make your life a bit easier using your iPhone on iOS 13. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos, and I will see you on the next one.